right, let's see how we can use your favorite icon libraries, whether it's material design icons or tabular icons or hero icons and edge templates. Now, in order to do so, we will be using this service called Iconify. Now, Iconify is basically a collection of all the popular icon libraries, or you can say like icon sets, under one single unified API, so that you don't have to like perform different setups when you're switching between different icon sets. You don't have to use like different workflows to use those icons. It's all under one unified API and you can very easily switch between different icon sets. So if we go to this particular page where we can, you know, like basically browse all the icons across the entire collection, you can see they have support for pretty much all the popular icon sets. So in this video, what we are going to do, we will see how we can take Iconify API and how we can use it to use different icons within Edge templates. And in order to do so, we have to install and set up this particular integration that I have created for Edge and Iconify. So what I've done here is I have created a new fresh Adonis.js project. I have set up Tailwind inside it so that we can basically uh, design things a little bit. And uh, also I have created a menu which doesn't have any icons right now. And we will be adding icons using the Edge Iconify package. So very first, let's start our application. I will say notice or watch. And let's open it inside the browser. Out here, you can see we have a very simple basic menu with some menu items and we will be adding icons to it. So the very first step is to install this package. So let's copy this, open a new terminal window and install it. All right, once that's done, uh, we need to like write this piece of code, but I will wait for a second and first install the icon set. I know I will be using hero icons for this particular video, but you can install any icon set. The process remains pretty much the same. So let's copy, paste it here and download it. All right, that's done. Now we can basically set up this particular package and also add our icons to the collection of icons using this method called add collection. So what I'm gonna do, I will create a new preload file now, preload files in Adonis.js runs anytime you boot your server. So this is like the one-time setup that you wanna perform before your application gets started. And I will name it view. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong command. Uh, that's make preload file, sorry. And let me open this file, view, and let's paste this code, so. I will copy this, then I will copy this. Let's grab view as well. And let's import Edge Iconify, which is basically a plugin for the Edge template engine. So we'll say view.use Edge Iconify, which registers the plugin. Next thing we do is we say, uh, we like call the method add collection and basically register the icons or the collection of icons we wanna use in this project. If you wanna use multiple, you can install that package and call add collection multiple times. So once that's done, uh, we are pretty much good to go. We just have to like open our template and start using the icons. So I will open the template and out here I will use the icon I want. So I'll say add the red SVG and now in order to find the name of the icon, you can go back to Iconify, search the icon set that you're using and search for the icon you need. So I need the home one. And from here, I'll like copy the name. Let's paste it here and maybe give it a class W5 and hide five. These are basically the tailwind utilities that I'm using. So I hit save, go back, and here we can see our icon. Let's inspect, and you can see we are using the SVG element directly. We are not, you know, like rendering any images or anything. 
And uh, we are also like able to define our classes here and they end up on the SVG element, uh, which means you can pretty much pass any props you want and they will end up on the HTML element. Now, since we are using uh, the classes for width and height, we don't want to specify the width and height as separate properties as well. So we can come here and we can say size none, which basically means get rid of the width and the height properties and let us use classes to style the SVG. Now I'm going to repeat this process for all the icons and then we will go ahead and you know like tweak the style. All right, so here we have all the icons in the right place. Now let's use some of the Tailwind utilities to design our individual menu items. So I will say flex, SpaceX three, let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks good. Maybe we can increase the icon size a bit. Yep, that looks great. And also say items center to make sure that both uh, the menu text and the icon is in center. Now let's copy this and paste it everywhere. So here we go. Looks all good. And let's update the size for all the icons. Now, if you want, you can like, of course, abstract this entire ally into a component and use it so that you don't have to like duplicate uh, the markup, but for this demo, it's fine. And out here, you can see this is our menu looks like. We are able to use the SVG icons. We don't have to store any SVGs within our projects. We are pretty much able to style them as we want. And also, since we are using Iconify, we get this unified API. If you want to use a new bundle, we just need to install the package, call the method add collection, and we are good to go.